Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about a severe weather outbreak starting today and for Thursday, okay? So today there's a potential for tornadoes and wind. A QLCS will develop tomorrow. Very bad weather is going to take shape. So tomorrow is looking serious, people. So people in these locations need to stay on high alert tomorrow. In this moderate risk zone. So people like Birmingham, potentially, Jackson, Baton Rouge, LA. People in these areas need to stay on high alert. A moderate risk has been issued. A potential for a high risk also is possible. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. That potential is there. There's that 15% significant tornado risk for tomorrow 15 hatch no that's that's a tornado that's not the, the tornado risk here it's for tomorrow a 15 percent chance of ef2 plus tornadoes and that significant hatch risk a 45 percent chance of severe weather and damaging winds in a 25 miles of a point area you can see the city below. If you live in Memphis, Tennessee, New Orleans, Louisiana, Birmingham, Alabama, Baton Rouge, Los Louisiana, Montgomery, Alabama. If you live in these areas, including Jackson, Mississippi, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Jackson, Tennessee, and Moreau, LA. If you live in this 45% chance, if you live in these areas, please stay safe from this wall of wind and potentially strong tornadoes, okay? A QLCS is, should be strengthening Wednesday. At a particular, it could be a derecho. There's a risk that could actually become a derecho, okay? This is, this is a wind and tornado-driven moderate risk, okay? This is no joke, guys. A wind-driven moderate risk, okay? Let's go to pipe, let's go to, um, our next weather, uh, I don't want to. Okay, here we go. All right, here's the alert. There's winter weather advisories because of freezing rain and thunderstorms for us. And there's also red flag warnings for parts of West Virginia. But look, winter weather advisories. Come on, kids. I got a concert this evening, so that's why I'm posting right now. I got to leave at 545, and you need to get here by 545. But... <clears throat> We are mainly talking about day two on this and day one, okay? This is really, yeah, let's check out the other moderate risk they issued earlier. Okay, this one is different, okay? This moderate risk. This moderate risk is smaller. But they have expanded it much northward okay it's now in memphis it's bigger it's more badder okay this is really bad okay this is not good for for anybody who's living here this is not good at all okay this is something you guys don't see very often okay <clears throat> a regional outbreak of severe thunderstorms is expected on wednesday across the lower mississippi valley and all severe weather hazards are possible, including widespread damaging winds, some over 75 miles per hour, several tornadoes, some of which could be strong, EF2 or plus. Okay, here's the thing. A short wave trough will inject from the southern plains across the lower Mi Mississippi Valley on Wednesday. Well, so this is where things could get serious. 50 to 70 knot winds are forecast at 850 millibars during the surface. So, along the dry line on today's severe weather, it's going to occur big hail, tornadoes, but tomorrow is, seems to be the significant, most significant days out of the risk. They are, to so this area of potential severe weather is going to happen. Let's check out our tornado threat for you guys, okay? There's that 15% chance of tornadoes in this region, okay? There it is circled right here in this red area. 15 hatch tornado risk, okay? 
This risk is a very extreme risk of tornadoes, okay? This is bad. This is not good at all. Folks, it's not good. You can see it here. But that wind risk is especially extreme, okay? We're not talking about hail here. We're talking about damaging winds. We're talking... 75 plus mile per hour wind gusts, okay? If, you, if you're if you in the green, you have a 5% chance of seeing damaging wind gusts. If you're in a yellow, if you're in a slight risk for damaging, you have a 15%. If you're in that red, you have a 30 If you're in that significant to 45 if you're in this hatch there, you have a chance of seeing 75 mile per hour plus greater wind gusts. If you live in the purple area, that 45% risk, you have a 45% chance of seeing we can see 90 plus mile per hour wind gusts in these storms. These storms have the potential to have damaging straight line winds. These storms are no joke tomorrow. These It's a QLCS. It's a derecho. It could extend all the way up here down to Illinois. Okay, this is not good for anybody living in these areas. This is the same areas that got hit last week by tornadoes and winds. So this is getting hit again. This is just water. New Orleans had an e New Orleans have an EF3 tornado uh, last week, and they're gonna get more of the same this week. So this is just even more significant. It could get upgraded to a high risk in this because that moderate risk is big enough to fit a little tiny one in here. Big enough, really, really big enough. So this is no joke, guys. This is something you guys have to watch. I can't post tomorrow, but I have to post today. But make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And I've got my stuff ready. Okay. You're going to be up there at 545, right? Yeah, I have to change in the bathroom as well up there. Like I used to, sorry for saying that, but this area right here is very extreme. And be cautious. This is no joke at all, folks. A very significant wind drifting event. Okay, let's see why. Or, let's see why this is a significant wind-driven event, okay? Let's see why, okay? This is a very significant wind event, okay? Let's check out the severe weather. We're going to check out the... Let's see what the... Not to... Let's see what the... Let's see what these photographs are for tomorrow. Okay, we got... It's okay. Today's Tuesday. Let's see right around late night. Okay, this is late at night. Okay, we're going to potentially see... If, there's those curved photographs starting to pop up near uh, parts of Texas and um, Texas and Oklahoma. There's that curved photograph. Let's check the soundings on this. There's that potential tornado risk, significant hell, maybe a significant tornado for this part. Of, this is what a slight risk. This slight risk extends all the way up to Des Moines, Iowa today. So this is a big area of severe weather. Tomorrow's even worse. What was this for? I don't know. I didn't put it there. Who's is this band aid? Not mine. Looks like a band aid. The curve photographs again. We got uh, 500, 600 joule kilograms here in this area. But we are moving on to into Wednesday morning, okay? There's that moderate risk. It's going to start. See, it goes up. But that line, that QLCS that's supposed to develop this afternoon. I mean, not this afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, the QLCS, okay? Let's check out. Let's check out the. Let's go back and. GFS. And we're going to go back, back a little bit, so we can see the storms that are going to dealt the QLCS. Give me a pen. Okay, let's go back to models again, and we're going to see how this thing develops. Okay, so here's that low pressure system here. You can see that low. Okay, let's click a sounding ahead of the that the storms again like initiation. There's that none. Okay. But those storms are going to pop up, like, late in the evening. So that's when the things are going to... Here's those storms. Okay, let's check out here. This one, the storms are initiating. Nothing. Nothing, really. But these storms are going to initiate late at night. You can see. In Iowa, there's some discrete supercells. Get drop tornadoes and stuff on the after afternoon. 
as well. By Wednesday morning, there's that squall line that's developing. Got got some storms here that are popping up down here, and we're gonna marginal severe. It it's gonna go up on Wednesday as the day goes on. We're gonna wake up Wednesday morning and see what's up. Okay, there's that ice potential where I live at. There's a winter weather advisory for the area. There's that little strip of freezing rain that's gonna move in on all along the warm front. And then we're going to see thunderstorms on Thursday, so it's a crazy situation for us here. It's kind of weird, but it's going to warm up after that, okay? There's that freezing rain. It just moves east. There's that warm front. There's that squall line. Look at that. There it is, guys. There's that squall line. QLCS that's going to develop. There's that. Okay. Okay, where's it? By Wednesday afternoon, there's that QLCS. Let's check out this area for information because it's words. We have no soundings. What? No. Let's check. Oh, let's check. Where is that moderate risk taking shape? Yep, there it is. There's some tornado. Okay, there's that curved photograph here. There's that temperature rising. You can see that moisture content. There is a potential for there's got a, there's that risk of significant wind though. There is that significant wind. Okay, let's check out near this area. That's where the tornado is gonna form. Yep, there it is again. There's that tornado. No PDS soundings. There ain't no PDS soundings with this. But those winds though with this these storms are going to hoo hoo buddy. That is a strong QLCS line. There's that tornado risk, or is it the significant tornado? So, any storms that, like, see those little areas, any storms that develop ahead of the line could have produce long track intense tornadoes, okay? You can see that QLCS popped up. It gets stretches all the way up to Illinois, all the way down into Louisiana, okay? This area of line, this is a squall line, the ratio kind of event, okay? Okay, that is the temperature, so that's an area that's developing these storms, okay? Very warm area. A warm, this is the cold front. If I can draw it for you guys, there's that cold front here and that warm front right there. Straight across my area, okay? There's that warm front, okay? There was ice that morning. That proves ice the other day, Wednesday morning. But there's that line of strong to potentially severe thunderstorms, okay? This is why... The area is under this moderate risk for severe weather. All modes of severe weather are possible. All modes. All modes. Okay. Areas. Okay. We're going to. So 7,900. 5,000. 7 million people are in a moderate risk. 10 to 16 million people are in them. Enhanced. And, and the 21. 20 million, 21 million people in the green. Okay, there's so many people getting impacted by this. Even the same areas I got that EF3 tornado last week are going to get impacted by what? A wall of wind. So this is looking like a derecho event. It, it sure does look like one. And, it mean, and I'm serious about it. It does look like one. And it does. Like, I'm serious. <laughs> So make sure you guys like and subscribe. More update. I'll come back home to tonight and get you one more update. Then go to bed. But this is where those storms are happening. There's that tornado risk again. Got some curved photographs. EF1 tornadoes. Okay, they're going to be QLCS tornadoes. Long track QLC. QLC. You see those? Okay. New Orleans. They're gonna. They're, Thursday morning, okay? This is Thursday morning. It's weakening by now. But let's go back to uh, Wednesday. Because I'm more interested in what that. That is just, that's looking really bad. If you live in these areas, watch out for damaging wind gusts plus 90 mile plus wind gusts with this. Stay tuned, everybody. A, a more detailed video, I mean, a more video, a last video will come out tonight after my concert. I'll see you guys later.